hello viewers you're welcome to our program learn at home by Kampala parent school and NTV I'm Margaret Okui many people do call me Mrs. Okui but before I start I want to just thank these parents who have brought for us these messages Mama Kyle you're very important Mama Kyle, where you are, and you know I call you Mama Kyle. You have said, most relevant, you are the best teacher, Margaret. Thank you for your commitment to the pupils so that they can excel in their performance. You are an asset in K to KPS. Thank you for appreciating, Mama Kyle. Then another parent. I've got a name called Helen, former parents, said kudos. My favorite teacher, Irumba says, thank you. Thank you too. Then the next parent, that said she's called Claire, Claire Onyinje. Onyinje says, hi teacher Margaret, we love you from Kenya. Your former pupils, 2018. Thank you. Then I want to read for you, there's a pupil of Kampala Parent School. Good morning, Mrs. Okui. This is Kwikiriza, Justin, from Kampala Parent School. Thank you for the mathematics lesson on NTV. It was very helpful to me and many other candidates. God bless you. God bless you too, my son. I love that. Then I have the pupils who are ever sending their work. These are candidates who are serious. I love you. That's why I keep reading your names. There are people who send their work without writing their names. Please, when you send your work, write your name so that I know the work I'm marking or I know the work I'm going through. Ah, these are the children. I want to start Atamba, Jeremiah, Entebbe Education Center. Atamba, you are a lovely boy. It's not difficult to supervise you by the, both parents and teachers because you are always serious. Then the next one is Musimenta from Namagunga Primary School. Oriokot, this name, Oriokot Kenneth Wabulenzi, parents. Thank you for doing the work. Ahabie Eunice Barra Junior School. Thank you. Amodin Karen Namul, Namumaya Education Center. Thank you for doing the work. Chibumbi, Hudson. Chibumbi, you are so good. You are ever doing the work. Continue that. This is Bosa Brook. This one, Tele, uh, Teletubis School. I don't know where this school is, but he has done the work. Thank you so much. Emanuela, Emanuela, you did not write the school where you are coming from, but thank you for doing the work. Alio, Sean, Makindi Jr., Thank you. Then we have Nimusima, Andrew, Bushenyi, Ishaka, Municipality, Bunjeriji, ha, Primary School. Ha. I know there are people who may be knowing the school and they know how to read it well, but that is it. Uh -huh. Then the last one is Hariho, Ntungamo. Then it means that all the nation is doing the work. I like the candidates who are ready to prepare themselves for the 2020 or 2020 paper, primary living examination. If you don't do it, then what are you waiting for? Can you join your friends and then do the work? So, I'm starting with correction. I'm going to start with the correction. That day when I was teaching this maths, there was the last, the third example. Whereby, after giving you two examples, I told you that the third one you were supposed to do it. And there is the question. This here. This is the number. I told you that before you go to the exercise, please do this number. How did you do this number? We are going to go through it. How did you do this number? There are times when you are saying, I told you that make sure that you use your letters, a letter of your choice. For me, I was using consecutive let number what, letters in our alphabet. So I started by saying, A. I started by saying, A, B, 
C D E D. Now you are supposed to find the perimeter. The question was find the perimeter of the given shapes. What did you do? Huh? I can see now somebody putting half the hand. Ademun, what did you do? What was the first thing you did? Uh huh? Yes. Ademun is good. Ademun is saying that he got the length C E. How did you get the length E? E. Tracy. Ashaba. How did you get that? Good. Ashaba is saying we subtract 12. Take away 7. From here to here is 12. From here to here is 7. Then from D to here is also 12. Now, what do you do to get this? They have subtracted 12. Take away 7. What do you get here? 5. Good. I like that. Then what is the next thing? What is the next thing? What is the next thing? Somebody, Jemba. Jemba is saying, uh-huh, we get the length of the curve. A, E. The length of the curve, A, E. How do you get that length? How do you get that length? Ha-ha, uh -huh. somebody has said a quarter times two pi R. Because this is a quadrant. That is why somebody has done it. So, after going through that, I want you, this is what people were, I wanted to try you to see how you have done it. Ha-ha. Uh -huh. I wanted to see how you have done it. So people are giving me exactly what I have also done. Have you seen what I have done? What Mrs. Okui has done? I have also done it. Yeah. Yeah. So it means that those who are there doing the work, they are also doing the same work Mrs. Okui is doing. The same thing Mrs. Okui is doing, some of you are doing it. That is the number. Uh -huh. That is the number. I hear somebody is now saying, uh -huh. I put there first. Yes, that is the number. Now look at this work. Length A, E. Length A, E. This is the length of this curve. Somebody already told us what to do. A quarter times two pi R. What do you come up with? 11 centimeters. So what have you done? Have you written here 11? I want you to write here 11 centimeters and then somebody length ec length ec which ademun has given us what is it five centimeters ashaba has said five centimeters what have they done they have subtracted here then they have got here five centimeters are we now able to get the perimeter perimeter is equal to a b plus b c plus c e plus e a don't come this way. Don't come this way. We want the perimeter of that shape. The time I told you that the dotted lines are there to help you. Now, we are here. 12 centimeters, 7 centimeters, 5 centimeters, 11 centimeters. What is your total? Somebody has said 35. Mark it. Mark 35. Now we are going to... The exercise I gave you, these were the numbers. I gave you those numbers. I gave you those numbers. What? We are looking direct. We are going direct to this one. I am writing my letters. I don't know what you have written there. Here is A. Here is B. And then C. That is what I have been using. I have told you to use your letters. If you like mine, well and good. You can use that one. So here we have the length A, C, C, B, and then B, A. How are you moving when you are supposed to move around this length, this one, this shape? Like this, like this, and that. What is the first thing you have done? Huh? Yes, Kalunji. Kalunji is saying you have divided 14 by 2. Why have you divided 14 by 2? Good. To get the diameter of the smaller circles here. This one and this one. So somebody has said here is 7 centimeters. Here also 7 centimeters. Now if there is like that, don't add the 7 that you have got now. No. The first thing, get the length. Get the length. Somebody, I like, there are people who are always serious and following the work. 
Somebody is saying we get the length of the bigger arm. That's good. That is exactly. It seems some people are seeing my work. Is that what you have written? If you have written that one, then you are really a very good child. Look at this work. Diameter A, B, A, B. That is exactly what somebody said. Uh -huh. Then length of the bigger arc. Length of the bigger what? Arc. Let me put a dot there. Mm -hmm. Length of the bigger arc. The bigger arc. There will be a half times pi d. Half times what? Pi d. What is the diameter of the bigger arc? I hear somebody already saying 14. Yes, it is 14. That's why we have said a half times 22. Uh, 7 times 14, we have got 22. And then the next one, he said, length of the smaller arc. This is the smaller one. It is also a half, much as it is smaller. Hmm? It is also what? A half. A short man is not a boy. Yeah, that is the size. So, much as this one is small, it is also a semi-circle. Do you know that? Yeah, that's why we are saying a half pi d. And then after that, we have got this one to be 11 centimeters. Here also 11 centimeters. What are we going to do now? <laughs> the bigger one, we are also writing there 22 centimeters. So that when we move, we know what we are doing. When we move, we now say AC plus CB plus B, A, back to where you have started. That is how you get the perimeter of any given figure here. So that's why we have said perimeter equals 22 centimeters, which is the length of the bigger arc, plus 11 centimeters, which is here, plus 11 centimeters. What have you got? I hear somebody saying, I've got it. Yeah, that's good. That's good. And make sure that if you have failed, failing is not a crime. Go back check and do corrections it will help you let's go to the next number the next number is here number twin number two number two they have said find the perimeter it is almost like this one yes find the perimeter still i have to write here something i write here a b c d e so now Somebody has already said that the what? Ha, the radius is 14. Yes, here is 14 centimeters. The radius is 14. If the distance from here to here is 14, it means that from here to here is also 14. Now, how are you going to get DC? I see the hand up. Katramo. Good. We are subtracting 20, take away 14. 20, take away 14, what do you get here? 6 centimeters. Are we now able, we are getting the circumference or the distance of the curve. We are getting the distance of the curve, which is not, it is something small, what we have done here. The length of act AD, AD, that is the first thing we have to start with. Act AD, that is the first thing we have to start with. Huh? Somebody is already saying 22 centimeters. How did you get 22 centimeters? A quarter, because this is a quadrant. A quarter times 2 times 22 out of 7 times 14. 14 is the radius. We have used the other formula, 2 pi r, because they have given us the radius. And now what have we come up with? We are able now. A, B plus B, C plus C, D plus D, A. What is D, A? 22 centimeters here. So we now say 20 centimeters plus 14 centimeters plus 6 centimeters plus 22 centimeters. Come up with 62 centimeters. Then we go to number three. Number three. Ah, uh, this, this figure is not funny. Why are you saying the figure is funny? That is not funny. That is the figure. So what are we going to do? We get the act here. We get here. From here to here is, we still write here A, here B, C, 
D, E. So that we get that. Maybe some people might want to copy. Let me put stand this side. So we have here the radius. We want first of all to get the radius from here to here or from here to there. What is our radius? If the distance from here to there is 14 centimeters, we have decided to divide it into two parts so that we get the distance from here to here, which is 7 centimeters. So we have here 7 centimeters. Now, what have we said? Length of the act. Length of this act here, it is a quarter. So what have we said? A quarter times 2 pi r. The way we did in the other one. A quarter times 2 pi r. And what have we got? 11 centimeters. Let me write it there. 11 centimeters. Now, act A, D equals act B, D. It means that this one is also 11 centimeters. I've written it here, here. Act B, D. Act B, D equals Act D, A. I've written it there. I've put it there. Ah. So what have we done? We have come to get the perimeter. Because we have all the sides now. A, B plus B, D plus... When they tell you to run round, this might be a field somewhere. Maybe somebody's compound. If you are running, don't go here. You might be arrested. Well, trespassing. That is it. Going to somebody's whole what? That is it exactly. So we come here. This is the perimeter. Huh? The last one. We are saying this is the thing. Huh? They said, why are we subtracting? Why has Mrs. Okwit subtracted 34 take away 20? I see the hand up there in the sitting room. Hello, yo. tell us. What? Good. Hello is saying that we want to get the other side which is opposite this one. Let me write so that we are able to name the lines. Hello, yo. Yeah, we want to get the length DC. Here will be 20. Huh? So now, when we have here 20, then here, we are having 20 take away, 30, 34 take away 20. What do we get? 14. 14 are for distance from here up to there and also from here up to there. These two lengths are equal. So if we get 14, we have to divide 14 by 2 so that we are able to get here 7 centimeters. Here also 7 centimeters. <sighs> Now, after that, here is 20, here is 20. We are now moving. What do we have to get? We have to get the length B, C, which is giving us this. It is a half times this. I have said a half times that. Why? Because the distance from here to here is 7 centimeters. From here to there is also 7 centimeters. So it means that this is going to be 14 centimeters and here is also 14 centimeters here to here is a half of this this one a d direct here this line is the diameter but from this part to here is the radius what have i decided to use i decided to use the diameter because in the example i gave you i use the radius so i want you I want to find out whether you have understood if I don't put, if I use this one. Yeah. So that's why I have brought this one here. I've got 22 here. If I get 22, I write here 22 centimeters. Here also I write 22 centimeters. And what we have here, I have now the perimeter. 20 centimeters plus 22 centimeters plus 20 centimeters plus 22 centimeters. How have I moved? A to B, 20 centimeters plus 22 centimeters plus 20 centimeters plus 22 centimeters. I get the perimeter 84 centimeters. So those were the numbers I gave you. I want to thank those ones who have done their work. Those are the numbers I gave you. Now, today, according to our lesson on circle, 
we have we started with the getting the diameter we started we, we went to pi we went the radius all this we know now we went to perimeter today we are to find the area and what is area is the amount of space covered by a flat surface why am i telling you this because when we were dealing with the perimeter we had to say perimeter is the distance round any given figure we talked of the circumference. Circumference is the distance round a circle. Now, today, we are to going to the area. What is the area? Is the amount of space covered by a flat surface. I think you should get that. But what is our most important thing? How do you get the area? How are we going to the area? Uh -huh. How are we going to the area? We want to look at how we derive the formula for getting the area. That is exactly what we are going to do. So what are we starting with? Immediately we are starting with the practical work, deriving the formula for finding, deriving, deriving the formula. For Getting, let me underline first. For deriving the formula for finding the area of a circle. That is where we are going direct because we cannot go to do to calculate the area without seeing how we are going. I always like practical work. Eh? I want to see things physically and I want to participate always in the practical work. That is why I also want you to do the same. When you are sitting room, huh? Arthur in your sitting room, Mirunji in your sitting room, Kale, I'm seeing you in your sitting room. Can you participate together with me? Today we are finding there, we are going for the practical work already direct. And I'm putting it what we are going to follow. If you are there in your sitting room, I want you to see what we are going to do to lead us to the area of a circle. As we have always been doing, I want us to do this practical work. And we are going to do it together. Now I want you to be there with your set. Get your set ready. So we are coming to the practical work. What is the practical work telling us to do? The first thing, draw a circle of any radius. For me, I've drawn mine of radius 4 centimeters. But you, draw a circle of any radius. Draw a circle of any radius on a manila card a manila card i'm the one using a manila card but for you what are you going to use a piece of paper get a piece of paper from your book i believe that you have your counter book there get a piece of paper from your counter book and draw a circle of radius get the radius of your choice for me i've used four centimeters now after that what are we going to do after drawing i believe that there are people who are very fast there Cut out the circle properly. Cut out. You know what uh, Mrs. Okuya has done? After drawing, I have cut out it properly. This is the circle. I have cut it out properly. Eh? That's why I have emphasized this. Underline the word properly. Because some people will cut it in a crooked way and things will not come. Then the third thing. What are we going to do after cutting? Fold the circle into halves, quarters, eighths, and sixteenths. Even more than that. But uh, for the time being, I have stopped at sixteenths. So what am I going to do? This is the thing I'm going to do. I'm going to fold it like this. Through the diameter. Look at what I'm doing. I folded it into halves. If I am to open, you can you are able to see the diameter. We see Are you able to see the diameter? Aloyo, are you there to see the diameter? 
Then they have said into halves. That I have divided it into halves. Now I'm again going to fold. I have now done it into quarters. And when you look at this exactly, it gives you a quadrant. When you look at this, it has given you a quadrant. And mind you, this angle here is a right angle, exactly the way you see it. So it means that I have now divided this into four parts. If I am to open from here, you will see that there are four quadrants here. That's why we are saying we are dividing into quarters. Have you seen there? But now, the next one, I'm again going to fold. Here is where the center is, at this vertex here. That is where the center is. I'm again going to fold from there. I'm folding. Now, if I am to open this, you will see I have made eights. Uh -huh. This is what I have done. I believe that there are people who are doing it there in the sitting room. Then I've made the last one. We used to play using this, saying that this was our plane. Huh? If you have not played, done that, then you are not eh, a child who has grown up hmm, in a village. We used to do this, and then you throw it. Then you follow it. Yeah. Some people are now thinking that, uh -huh, I wish Mrs. Okui could give me. I'm not going to give you. This is mine. Make yours. Huh? Make yours. Then, what have they said? After folding, because they said, fold the circle into halves, quarters, eighths, and sixteenths. Then what do we do? Cut the sectors. Ah, the sectors there. I want you to open. I want you to open now. For me, I want the line to be there. That's why... I'm over pressing it because I want the lines to be there when I open. So I'm now opening. I'm now opening. I'm now opening. Uh, when I open like this, you see that there are many sectors now. There are many sectors. How many sectors are there? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. These eight ones, they have made half of a circle. And what have I done next? What have I done? I want you now to see this. This is exactly what I have been doing. Only that I cannot draw these lines within this short period. This is exactly what I had done because I drawn two. So what have I done? I have divided this into two halves. There is a half here and there is a half here. So these are the these are the sectors. I have those parts which are not shaded. I have eight of them. That is why I've numbered them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then up here, we also have 16, 7, 4, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So it means that there are 16 sectors. What are we going to do with these sectors? We are going to cut them. Cut these sectors. We are going to do what? To cut these sectors. Using your pair of scissors there at home, make sure that you cut these sectors. After cutting these sectors, Mrs. Okui has cut them. After cutting them, I have pasted them here. I have pasted them. And I want to put it here on the... I have pasted them. I should even put it up here so that you are able to see what I mean. Because somewhere they have said, paste them or assemble them to form a rectangle. That is exactly what I have done. To form a rectangle. That is exactly what I have done. I want you to see it properly. The first sector, whereby, because I drawn two, the third one is this one which I have tried to demonstrate before you. 
I had drawn two. The first one, I have cut them into sectors. And these sectors here, I have cut them through these lines, the radius. This is the radius. The distance from here to here is the radius. Then a half of these sectors are shaded. The shaded parts, I have made the, uh, the, the what? The acts to curve from down. They are here down. And there are eight of them. And then I have cut all these a half. So this here is a half of the arc. That is the donor one, which is equal to a half a circumference. So the upper one, they are up. The, the upper one, they are unshaded. These ones are not shaded. So these ones, I have also cut them. I have also cut these ones. And they are here. Curve, 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 curve. These are the arcs. Up there. It is also a half a circumference. Now, since this one looks like a rectangle, since it looks like a rectangle, I want to put this one because that is what exactly you are also going to do. You will put the other one, paste it also there, so that we know that these parts here have been cut from this one. There you are. These are the parts which have been cut to form this rectangle. A half of it, which is shaded, shaded, is facing down. And a half of it, which is unshaded, facing up. All the sectors, they have acts. And they have formed what we call a rectangle. Since they are put form a rectangle, Makana, I'm asking you, how do you get the area of a rectangle? How do you get the area of a rectangle? Good. Makana is saying that area of a rectangle, area equals L times, let me write it, length times the width. That is how we get the area of a rectangle. So now, since this thing here is in form of a rectangle, we are going to see, look at it. What is the length of this? The length, instead of saying the length, our length is a half circumference times what is our width there? It is the ara. This is the our width. Which is the W. In the rectangle form, we call that part W. But now, that W, the length, we know that the length from here to here is the radius. And then this one here is our length. Let me even put it there. On a rectangle. But now, Instead of writing length there, we are now saying let it be a half circumference or a half of the act because a semicircle is the major act. Then we multiply by the radius. So now we say one out of two, one out of two, one out of two. This one out of two times the circumference. How do you get the circumference? We am saying times, let me put the formula for the circumference there. We say times, because a half times this will give us a half times two times pi r. That is two pi r times the radius which is out. 
we move on. We say here, 1 out of 2 times 2 times pi times r times this r. We are moving. So, what do we come up with? We are getting the area of this shape, which will, give, will, which will lead us to the area of a circle. Huh? By two here, ones. By two here, two. One mean, sorry. By two, ones. So now we have pi times r times r, which is giving us pi r squared. Therefore, area of circle equals pi r squared. That is where we are coming. We are coming to this. I want you to highlight this. We have come from far. So that is the area of a circle. When you want to get the area of a circle, this is exactly what we have come up with. This is the formula. Before I go on with this work, before I conclude with this formula, always people are having certain formula there. Whereby they say it, the circumference, circumference, or we say the distance, or we say the length, the length of the major arc which is the semicircle equals pi r. There are people who are using that formula. But mind you, that formula has come from somewhere. It has been simplified. Because I have seen in many books whereby people are saying that the length of the major curve, which is the semicircle, equals pi r. This pi r is coming from somewhere. Because we say that this is coming from a half times 2 pi r. 2 pi r is getting the circumference of a full circle. But now when we have it, that is when we come up with this. After reducing this, because when we reduce this, we say 1 out of 2 times 2 times 22 out of 7 or times pi. Let me say times pi times r. You reduce here once, here once. And then you come up with this. So there are people, there are teachers, there are those who are using this. But mind you, it has come from up. They have already simplified it. So when you are using it, know that you have come from up here. That is what I wanted to explain. Because some people might ask me, Mrs. Okui, what of pi r? Pi r has come from a half to pi r. You have reduced to come up with this. Since you don't want the other part here, if you are, don't have the other part, that's when you come up with this. So that is what I wanted to explain there before I go on to calculating the area. Because that is where we are now going. Since we have now got the formula, our work is now simple here. We are now going to calculating. Let me use black. This pen is refusing to write. We are now saying calculating the area when given radius. Example one. Find the area of a circle whose radius 
is 7 centimeters. I believe that since we have already known the formula, some people have already started calculating. Jaden, I believe you are now calculating. Jingo Jerry, I'm looking at you. Huh? So, how are we going to start? We are saying area of circle. I always use this. Huh? Equals mm -hmm. pi r squared. We are now coming from our formula here. Area of a circle equals pi r squared. So what do we have here? We have, we are using pi here as 22 out of 7 because the radius given is a multiple of 7. So what are we going to do here? We are going to say 22 out of 7 times r times r. What is our r? 7 centimeters. So we say 22 out of 7 times 7 centimeters times 7 centimeters. Yes. Uching. What are we going to do? Reduce. Yes, that's good. We are reducing by 7 ones. So we have 22 times 1 centimeter times 7 centimeters. What do we get? We have 22 times 1. What do we get? 22. 22 centimeters times 7 centimeters. Why have I got 22 centimeters? Because I have multiplied 22 times 1 centimeter, which is giving us 22 centimeters. So 7 times 2. Carlton. Good. 14. Write 4. Carry 1. 7 times 2. Tracy. Uh -huh. Plus the one we have carried. 15. So centimeter times centimeter we get centimeters squared. Take care of the units. That is our example one. Underline your work. Then we go to example two. I believe people have already copied this and I want you to follow what I have done. Draw your circle, divide, Make sure that you have also done that practical work in your sitting room. Make yourself busy. Learn at home. Mm -hmm. I'm also removing this. So I'm going to example two. I think you are looking as I also take my time. I'm taking my time so that you are able to copy example one. Example two. I'm saying calculate the area of a circle whose radius is, let me say, 20 centimeters. Now, since the radius is 20 centimeters, which pi are we going to use? Good. Somebody has said 3 point pi equals 3.14. That's good. So, what are we going to do next? Calculate the area of a circle whose radius is 20 centimeters. What are we going to get there? Yes. Good. I like that. Somebody is very eager to calculate because they have seen the work is now very simple. Somebody some, last week was asking for the area. Area has come. Today, your work is here. So we say, somebody has said area of, you know, I draw that small circle there because it is a circle because the center is there. Uh -huh. Area of a circle equals, mm -hmm. what, will I, what do I say? Pi r squared. Our work is just now to expand. 
Which pi are we using? 3.14 times r times r. What are we going to get here? 3.14 times. What is our r? I hear somebody saying 20 centimeters times 20 centimeters. Mm -hmm. In the next step, I want you to write 3.1 for us a fraction. 314 out of 100 times 20 centimeters times 20 centimeters. We can reduce using this. By this, this, this one will go with that. What do we have? We have 314. 14 times 2 times 2. Worry. Good. 4. Now, what is it 4 without? Yeah. Centimeters squared. Mm -hmm. So we are multiplying 314 times 4. What do we have there? 4 times 4, yeah, 16, right? 6, carry 1. 4 times 1, plus the one you have carried, 5, good. 4 times 3, 12. Did we carry anything? I hear somebody saying yes. From where? Here we carried... What we have carried, we have left it here. Because we said 4 times 4, 16, we write 6, carry 1. 4 times 1, 4, plus the 1, 5. We have carried nothing now. 4 times 3, 12. Let me write properly where everybody is to see. That is the area of that one. So we have that. I want to underline my work. That is that. I want to give you some activities now. You want to do some work. Those who have got it well, I believe that you are now eager to do that work. And I'm going to remove this from the board. As I do, do you know that as I'm doing this, I am giving you time to copy this example too. Those, they, I believe there are some people who have not even copied one. I'm giving you time to copy that. So now, since you have now seen what, what, I'm going to give you work. I'm starting with number one. I'm giving you work. That's number one. You can start... Reading. That is the work number one. Find the area of a circle whose radius is A, 14 centimeters, B, 21 centimeters, C, 
3.5 centimeters. D, 42 centimeters. E, 0 0.7 meters. And since I have given you, in number one, I have given you all the multiples of seven. Use pi has 22 out of seven. Then number two. Number two. Number two. Calculate the area of a circle whose radius is, let me stand from this side. A, 10 centimeters. B, 5 centimeters. C, 2 centimeters. D, 30 centimeters. And E, 100 millimeters. And since all these are not multiples of 7, I have told you to use pi as 3.1. Four, to simplify your work. Children, there is one thing I want to tell you. Some people are not doing their work, but they complain that they have not been given time. But today I've given you time. And then when you have a complaint, you have a queries, you have some questions you want to ask, don't call. But send your messages through WhatsApp, there are numbers which are always put on the screen and send your messages through that or your audio so that we know what you are complaining and send your work through that number. We want to see the work you have done. We want to see the work, how you are organizing your work because you are a candidate. A candidate has to be serious. Thank you so much for attending this lesson. May God bless you as you do your whole work. To participate, send a short WhatsApp video of yourself asking the teacher a question about the topic to 0705 031 609.